In this video I'll be painting this cup of tea using transparent paint and then switching to opaque paint to add details to the teacup. This is in oils using the Alla Prima technique. So I've toned the canvas with a burnt umber acrylic wash um, and allowed that to completely dry and then I've transferred my image onto that and that really just gets rid of the white of the canvas and it allows you to establish your tones much better. I'm using some liquid as my medium but I'm only going to be applying very small amounts. So I want to begin by getting that lovely transparent glaze. So adding that medium to some burnt sienna and I'm going to begin just brushing that colour on so it is nice and transparent and we can still see the bottom of that teacup. I'm keeping the paint application very, very thin. Next I begin to mix a grey tone as I begin to start adding some of the lights on the teacup. Now I don't want to use all my highlights at this early stage, I want to be able to build up so I'll add these colours on quite thinly and as I build up those highlights the paint will be applied much thicker. So you can see I'm toning that colour down with a little bit of that burnt sienna so it's, it's much more of a grey tone. As I work on the rim, I lighten that colour up a little bit more, but I'm still not using pure white. And continuing with that grey, I work on the bottom part of the cup. The saucer is done in exactly the same way, just really focusing on the variety of grey tones. I'm not worrying about any of the details at this stage. We're going to be working wet into wet a la prima, but so I will be adding those details into this wet paint. Keep adjusting the tones from dark to light as I'm observing the light hitting that saucer. For that lovely gold rim I'm using some burnt sienna and some cadmium orange to block that initial colour in. So here I'm just using a wipe out tool so I can just erase a little bit of that white paint so that I can continue adding that lovely gold rim. So this is a lovely little trick that if you've got a lot of paint on there you can always just erase a little bit of that back. And now that I've got a nice cleaner area to work on I'll just continue adding that lovely rim colour. Next I begin to work on the background and here I'm just using some burnt umber just to get a blocked in colour. And I'm painting around the daisies. I'm darkening that mixture now with a little bit of 
ultramarine blue and a small amount of black and just making sure that I get some of those lovely dark shadows. Adding just a little bit of white to the mixture for that upper right hand corner. And here I'm switching to a small painting knife and just using that to get that lovely wood grain effect. Just rubbing that back and forth. The colour is white with some burnt umber but it's not too bright. You want that to blend and mix with that colour underneath. Now all the background's in place, I can really judge my tones a little bit better. So I'm adding yet another layer to that T area. I'm adding a darker shadow right underneath that daisy because you can actually see it reflecting on the bottom of the teacup. I can also use a Q-tip just to wipe back a little bit and create a bit more light on the bottom. Using some sap green and a little blue, I start to add the details onto the teacup. Now I'm only loosely suggesting the pattern, I'm not trying to copy the photograph in its entirety. Next I start to use a thicker, lighter colour, it's by no means pure white still and I start to put the details on the teacup. Remember we applied that initial white or grey area quite thinly so now as we start to add those details we can start applying thicker paint. And I have another brush in my hand with a grey tone so I can add some shadows. And again, I'm still not using pure white as I start to add the details on this saucer. Using some cadmium orange now, I'm just dancing a few areas of highlights. And I also block in the handle. Once again, I'll use a slightly darker grey tone to add some shadows. Thank you. 
to get that lovely shine on the teacup I'm now into titanium white and going on quite thick with that application and then back to adding more details onto the teacup and the saucer I'm adding some more highlights using cadmium yellow and white finishing with a pop of pure titanium white to get a real shiny effect using some orange and yellow now I begin to block in the centers of the daisies adding a greenish um, edge around for a shadow then I use a grey tone, it's quite a light grey at this point but still not pure white and I start to block in those daisies And then using a lighter white we can begin to pick out some individual petals using a lighter yellow I begin to highlight the centers and I'm also tapping that color on to create a little bit of texture And once I'm happy with the painting, I use a wipeout tool to scratch my signature. I really do hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, please do let me know in the comments below. And also don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. If you are interested in longer tutorials from me, don't forget to check out the Maz Art Academy and I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video. To the teacup. This is Alla Prima Oils. No. In this video, we'll be painting, no. In this video, I'll be demonstrating, no. I really do hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video. Well done.